What's up, guys? You're welcome to Emacom TV, where we publish news on politics and entertainment. All right, guys. I'm Errol Fry, the governor of Kaduna State, and one of the Northern Governors Forum member has revealed why they dump Amechi for Tinubu. You know, before this time, according to Errol Fry, he said that they were rooting for Amechi, and in fact, several governors had openly confessed to supporting. Amechi and um, even Erufra himself, when Amechi visited Kaduna to get the support of delegate, when introducing Amechi to those delegates, he said that Amechi is Buari's own right hand man. That's what um, Erufra said. So, and he and Amechi, they are best of friends, they are very close. He even revealed how Amechi single handedly sponsored CPC convention way back. 2011 that Amechi single handedly sponsored it with billions. Although he didn't mention the amount that Amechi sponsored that um, CPC convention. That then they had not merged. You see, so that automatically endeared him to Buhari, and he must have been promised the throne. But look at what happened. According to Erufra, Erufra said with the emergence of Atiku Abubakar, that they knew that Amechi would not stand up to. Her. Abubaka, Atika Obaka. And they also know, he, he, according to him, he said that they had to dump, they were looking at alternating between Amechi and Usibanjo, those two projects. They were looking at, these two people were like a project, you know. So they were alternating between both of them. Should Amechi not make it, they will support Usibanjo. So that is why you see Usibanjo never stepped down for uh, Tinubu, he never, even upon all the pleading, he never, because he was being supported from uh, behind. There were powers that be that were backing up Osibanjo. Now, uh, Erufra went on to say that with the emergence of Atika Obaka, they know that um, Amechi nor Osibanjo will be able to face Atiko, that Atiko is a monster. So they had to opt for Tinubu, and that was why in just three days to the convention, they changed their plan and told Buari to pick a successor from the south. And of course, you know that even the uh, cabal in APC themselves, they were looking at Ahmed Lawan. They were they had their own plan as well. That the only person who will be able to checkmate Atik Obaka is to pick a candidate from the north. And the only candidate they had available was Ahmed Lawan. So that was how you saw what the APC national chairman did in Picking Ahmed Lawan single handedly. You know, so but the Northern Governors Forum had to tell the APC chairman they wanted to have a meeting with him. The APC chairman fled from the APC secretariat, he was never to be seen. But later they went to his house around 1 a.m. in the morning. Imagine at midnight, the APC governors said they went to his house and told him that they reject Ahmed Lawan and that they wanted to let him know that. They are the ones in control of the party and not him. You know, so they were able to tell their delegates to vote for Tinubu because according to Erufry, Erufry said they know only Tinubu will be able to confront Atiku and only Tinubu will be sellable in the north. But you see, let's look at this carefully. Let's look at this carefully. These people, the northerners don't understand what is party. That's the number one thing. These northerners don't understand, they expect the full honey. They understand one thing. If you are not a full honey, forget the business. Forget the job. So they understand one thing. If you are a full honey, they must leave vote for They don't vote on party lines. They vote on individual in, in the individual basis. And I think he is a full honey man. And they know him very well as a full honey man. So that is where APC fear is. And if you notice, even APC had to shift their convention they were supposed to have their convention on the 29th. They had to shift their convention to the 6th of June because of Atiku Wahala. They shifted it, you know, to buy more time, you know. So, guys, uh, looking at it carefully, you just know that they, these northerners are not to be trusted. The information we are receiving is that even why they decide to choose Tinobu is that they know that he might likely die in office. And if he dies, do you know their plan now? They are pressuring Tenobu to pick a Muslim Muslim ticket. And the person who is favored for this Muslim Muslim ticket is El Rufrai. In fact, El Rufrai was the is he is at the forefront of the project for the um uh, for power to be ceded to the south because 
According to information, is that he will be the vice president. So APC is rooting for a Muslim Muslim ticket and not a Muslim Christian ticket because if you look at the north, who is the person? How many politi Christian politicians do they even have in the north? They don't have much. We have Dogara. Dogara is a Christian. We also have Lalong, you know, who happens to be uh, the chairman. That's him there. The chairman of the Northern Governors Forum. Lalon is the chairman of Northern Governors Forum. But he himself today said that he doesn't have that much influence. Then we also have the boss Mustafa, who happens to be secretary to the government of the Federation. Uh, but he himself, he doesn't have that same thing. And that the only person you see is El Rufrai. El Rufrai is a Fulani man. He might likely. So APC is not, he, are not looking at the sensitivity of the union of nigeria they're not looking at they are looking at winning that's what they're all concerned about winning so whichever strategy they want to do they are planning to damn the consequence but even here with that political analysts say that even if they will pick muslim muslim ticket that erufra is no match for article that article is a strategist he knows the game very well article knows the game he knows so guys, you see that um, from looking at the whole scenario and everything, both the strategy and everything about APC, you just know that the North are still the winners. Yes, they've already won because, one, they succeeded in, in adopting Tenubu as their candidate. And they know that what happened to Yaradua might likely happen in the case of Tenubu. And if it does, power will go back to the North. Power will go back to the north. So they are very patient. It's just like um, it's just like uh, this uh, the, this Komodo dragon. When once he bites an animal and inflict the poison on you, he will follow you even though you go and die. You know later on, that's when they will, he will eat you. So this animal will just bite you and leave you. You go. You will go and die later. That is what is happening in the case of APC and right now. So what what do you guys think? Drop your comment below.